Howdy folks, Stock here with Last Best Tool. And as more and more of my life seems to revolve around battery powered stuff, whether that's tools or computers, tablets, phones, uh, GPSs, communication stuff, um, or because of the channel, things like lighting and microphones and cameras, I'm always on the lookout for innovative solutions kind of in that power station battery pack space. So here's one. This is the Glide Charge. It's known as the world's first remote controlled power bank and power station. So it actually has a remote control here that uh, powers these two outputs. Plus, it can do um, a 65 watt output here on the USB-C, which basically you hook that up uh, to your laptops and they think they're plugged into an AC power outlet because it's a 65 watt adapter. Um, also, I noticed that the shape of this thing fits wonderfully into this uh, Klein hard case, among other cases I've got, but also into this uh, Maxpedition case, should you want a more tactical look for your power station storage. So this snugs in here and you can fit the, fit the remote in there with it. Um, but anyway, put these aside and take a closer look at it. Now, it's also a lithium iron phosphate battery, which is a little better than the standard lithium uh, batteries in terms of safety, number of cycles, faster charging. Uh, but let's take a look at two things. One of them in particular, is this number right here. This says that the battery capacity in, is 99.84 watt hours. That's less than 100 and that's deliberate. In fact, that's about as close as you can get to 100 not going over. The 100 number is what TSA uses as a cutoff for carrying uh, basically batteries or power stations in your carry-on luggage. So that's important to me. Also, we might as well take a look at a few other things here. Um, this is the Glide Charge. It's out of Space Gravity, uh, which is the company that uh, is um, actually in Houston, Texas is where their U.S. base is. So that's where this thing came out of. Of course, like most battery stuff made in China, serialized here. Um, but anyway, so we've got in and out on the USB-C, standard 5 volts, 3 amps there. Um, you can also get, it does have a 12-volt uh, out. It comes with the two cables here, the USB-C as well as this 12-volt out. And that's a sustained uh, 50 watts um, that you can get out of this thing um, for driving um, things like speakers is one of the things they suggest, gaming um, uh, devices, etc. Uh, but anyway, go back up here, uh, 12 volt DC out right there, 50 watts max, USB-C, 45, or you can use both to get 63 watts, um, and then the USB-A, uh, 50 watts there, 68 max. The interesting thing here, that's on the DC, uh, of course, the interesting thing here is the remote control. So let's take a cl closer look at what that is. So there's a little sticker on here. There's only three choices, so if you lose that, you're fine. Press once to activate uh, the stand uh, standby battery and remote control. So if I push this once, you see it lights up. And now it is in a standby mode, which means that whatever's plugged in can be activated um, in one of these two can be activated with this remote. Um, press and hold uh, to permanently activate the battery. So if I hold this in and uh, now it's just going to stay on. So the remote doesn't matter because it's on and then press and hold um, and it will shut off. So there's the off part. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and show you what this does. So I've got a uh, USB-A here and I'll plug this in and it is into, uh, this is an Olight wheel here. You can change or an O-strip, uh, change the colors here. Kind of a fun little thing. Um, so we'll go ahead and run the remote. So off, you can see that on, off. So that's one of the claims to fame. And I started thinking, well, what could I do with this? In overlanding, I often have lighting hooked up to things. Uh, so I could easily hook it up to this, have this in my pocket. When I'm coming back later at night, um, I could easily turn this on and light up the area from a distance. That's a, a possibility. Or light the interior of a vehicle or something like that. You could also use it if you've got some kind of um, uh, uh, USB speaker if I wanted to shut it off right away. 
I could easily um, hit that to kill the power too. So it isn't just turning things on from a distance, but also turning them off. And one thing I I found interesting is in the instructions it talked about the uh, distance. So coming out of the front of this remote, it says, you know, if I'm pointing it this way, it's got a five meter range. But if it's pointed this way, it's got a three meter range. I thought that was uniquely specific. Uh, anyway, overall, something like this uh, can easily travel with you. High speed charging, that's another thing. Uh, being able to uh, fill this thing up and to fill stuff up from this um, is a big deal. They sell for about a hundred bucks. There's a link below so you can check them out. The Space Gravity site is kind of interesting, but then this is the Glide Charge is the name of it. Um, so pretty substantial unit. A lot of the others that I've, I've looked at in this space for the hundred, just sub hundred watt hour um, designs um, that have unique features um, have been about twice the price of this thing. Um, but I thought I'd show you this one. They did send it to me, but like a lot of things, I hear about them, you know, do my homework um, before I ever get involved in um, thinking about showing you. Um, so this one I think is worth it. I like the idea. I like the design. Um, I like the innovation of the, um, of the remote control, even if I'm not perfectly sure what I would do with it. This is, uh, it leads to kind of an interesting um, option. So I just have to get used to a world where I can control my battery pack with a remote. So there is that. Let me know what you'd use something like this for. And with that, Doc out.